Who knew it'd be so easy? Replacing a patient's medication with placebos. Just a few moments ago, his heart was still beating. And now, it has come to a complete stop. No one would ever suspect that I was responsible for the death of Craig Myberg. The man bound to his bed for nine years. Yes, why would I? What could I, his own son, benefit from it? Well, it all started with a simple letter. It was addressed to me and my sister. But what puzzled me was the sender, even my bird. If it were not for her distinctive handwriting, I would have simply considered it was some childish joke perpetrated by fellow students. But no, it was definitely from my mother, the woman who tragically died nine years ago. My mother explained in the letter how she had arranged for it to be delayed until six months before my 20th birthday. According to the letter, our father possesses 50 million, 50 fucking million, which has belonged to our family since our ancestors moved from Germany to South Africa. It was odd, however, that my father arranged it for all of it to be donated to charity upon my 20th birthday. Don't ask me why a man would discard such a large sum of money willingly. That is how my father was. However, what I read next robbed me of my sleep for weeks. My father was unable to access the money until after I had reached the age of 20. And with a description of where his will and testament was hidden, the letter ended. What my mother had written was true. However, there was one unsettling clause. It stated that if my dad were to die before my 20th birthday, my sister Danielle and I would receive the entire 50 million heritage. Purely out of interest, I wished to find out if my sister knew anything about the money. Danielle, she can be very unpleasant. Before she returned from school, I wanted to know everything she knew. When I found her diary under her mattress, I was surprised, if not slightly disappointed. She is a very intelligent girl, the ideal student, striking beauty, teacher's bet. I would have expected more of a challenge, but excitedly scanning through the many pages, I lay down on her couch. Engrossed with the matter at hand, I lost track of time, and suddenly it was already four o'clock. Find anything interesting? That depends on your definition. Nobody gives you the right to look through my diary, James. What do you know about rights? Obviously a lot more than you. Maybe you should put that back where you found it. Maybe I won't put it back. Now what would that accomplish? If you didn't want me to find it, you should have had it better. Unless she wants me to find it. I know you're better than that, don't you? My sister knew nothing. Not once did she mention anything about any money. Even when writing about our mother. The same night, I decided to meet with my best mate, Martin, for a game of pool. Martin and I are our closest brothers, and I decided to confide in him about the letter and the money. $50 million. Ah, oh, shit. And how do you know that's true? It's all here in the world. As soon as I turn 20, I don't get to see it. 
So, how are you planning to get the money? I'm not disposing of my own father, if that's what you're implying. James, this is a once in a lifetime opportunity. You never got along with your dad anyway, and you've only got six months, right? We're talking about 50 million here. Don't you find it weird that my best friend is trying to convince me to knock off my own father? When he should probably be trying to convince me otherwise. You know what I find funny? Is that you're still standing there talking to me about this? You should be punching me in the face right now. You know what I find funny? Every time you leave me to sing the black ball, even though you know if I get it in, it'll end the game. Who knew it'd be so easy? Obviously, I thought about the money before I met up with Martin, but I decided not to do anything about it. The dark sentiments of my dead mother persuading me to kill my father put me off. It was almost ironic that I received my mother's letter, and not Danielle. Only I was close enough to my father to finish him. He would let no one except me give him his pills. You can't trust these incompetent New Zealand nurses, he would say. And my sister? He would rather let a genocidal maniac give him his medication than Danielle. His daughter, who had the same egocentric, manipulative, and selfish tendencies as her mother. Although, after my conversation with Martin, the idea to dispose of my father and take my inheritance didn't seem so alien to me. Why did you leave early? It's cold out. If you say so, it must be true. We don't have a lot of days in New Zealand that are colder than you. Why are you being so aggressive? We both just lost our father. Why are you pretending to care? You hated him. Don't even try. And you didn't? You shouldn't be drinking that. Since when did you care? Since you began hiding a gun in your coat. <laughs> How did you find out about the gun? I found it while I was looking for your diary. At least now I know why the diary was so easy to find. You hope that people would be satisfied with finding your diary. But I know you better than me. Use the diary as a decoy. If you knew better, why are you still here? I wanted to make sure you wouldn't do anything stupid. Hey, Ben. Hey. Mate. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. You look like you're doing all right too. Must be pretty desperate if you wanted to get in between. Wait! You didn't want me to do anything stupid. Why didn't you stop me? You didn't have to shoot her. I needed to convince you to kill father. Unfortunately, I didn't plan on sharing the money with Martin. And on that matter, I love you. How did you know about me? I can understand Martin betraying me. Danielle, I thought you were above this. But Mum, what did you fake her on death? Neither did I think you were a murderer, sweetheart. But I suppose we all have our bad side. I never did love your father, 
or want to marry him for that matter, but I agreed to it in the end. I tried to convince myself over and over that I was in love with him, but after he hid the money, I knew that he wasn't the right one. I couldn't stand your father, I had to escape. Anyway, goodbye sweetheart. Drop the gun, sweetie. No! No! And you're coming with me. How could you know this would happen? Danielle had more faults than just not being able to hide a gun properly. She should have caked on the 